you will leave this conference enthused and motivated. You will be very focused in terms of what you're trying to accomplish and how you're going to accomplish them. We are in the very first part of a brand new year, and some of you have these nice, fresh goals written down. You know what you want to accomplish, but you've only written it down once. I have an opportunity in my profession to meet a lot of successful people. I'm going to give five presentations this week to all different kinds of companies all across the country. I leave here, San Diego, this morning, and I fly to Dallas. I speak in Dallas tomorrow. And then I fly back to California, and I speak on Tuesday to, um, in Manhattan Beach. Then I fly from Manhattan Beach, I go out to Washington, D.C., and then I go off to Hawaii all in the same week. All totally different kinds of companies. And in those presentations that I speak to, like this, I get to meet some very successful people, very motivated, very driven, very dynamic individuals. Often if there's a banquet or something, they will sit me next to the president of the company. A lot of times they'll point out the high achievers. There's our number one producer. There's a salesperson of the year. That person over there, phenomenal manager. I get to meet people that are high achievers. And I got to tell you, these people don't write their goals down once a year and stick them in a drawer. These people are writing their goals down two or three times a year. These people are doing something every single day to kick up their motivation and their enthusiasm. I compare it and analogize it to exercise. You know, if you, if you don't do it on a regular basis and you stop, you rapidly lose whatever benefit you got from it. It's something you need to be doing on a regular basis. And people hear exercise and they cringe. Well, here's the good news. You don't have to do it for a half hour or 40 minutes you know, every day. Your goal setting process, your focus, your charting the course process really only has to be a three or four minute a day process. Why not keep a notepad on your desk and rewrite your goals two or three times a week? If you're not going to do that, why not once sit down and get those goals on tape or on a CD? It is exceedingly simple. For most of you, all you have to do is plug a microphone into your computer and Windows Media is going to boot up. And tell it you want to make a recording and sit there and read that goal sheet of yours into a computer or on a tape Read it over and over again until you make yourself a five minute long CD. Burn it to CD, make it a WAV file, take that CD and put it in the glove compartment of your car. How many hours a week do you all spend driving around in those vehicles? I mean, it's unbelievable, isn't it? How difficult would it be maybe once a day to take that little gold CD of yours, pop it in the machine, and hear in the background your own voice reminding you over and over again what your production numbers are, how many new brokers you want to generate, how you always want to ask for referrals. Now, a lot of people don't think this works, but it works very well. And a lot of you are going to have to get back to basics. You know, the ride, quote unquote, may very well be over, at least temporarily. It's time to get back to basics and get to work again. And that's a good thing. A lot of times when things are so good, you drift away from some of the basics. Basics, like asking for referrals. Honestly, how many of you folks sometimes forget to ask for referrals? Can I see by show of hands? Honestly, how many of you forget to ask for referrals? Come on now. Right, there's about half of you that forget to ask for referrals, and it's, it's obvious. A lot of people feel that asking for referrals is pushy or presumptuous, and they don't really want to do it. You want to, you want to correct that in a couple of weeks? You want to get yourself in the habit of always asking for referrals? It's simple. When you get back home tonight or tomorrow, sit down, plug that microphone, make yourself a little CD. Over and over, tell yourself, I always ask for referrals. Asking for referrals is the smart thing to do. Asking these brokers for referrals is helping me reach my goals in business. Referrals is a fee for service rendered. Over and over again, tell yourself to always ask for referrals. Make a five minute long tape over and over again. If you played that tape in the background while you're driving around to an appointment once a day, every day for the next couple of weeks, do you honestly believe you would ever again forget to ask for referrals? That is one very basic thing you could do that would probably push your income up by 15 to 20 percent if you're currently forgetting to ask for referrals. One another simple thing that will bump your income 20, 30 percent if you're not already doing it big part of your business is picking up that phone and calling the brokers, or setting those appointments, or generating those contacts. A lot of people, for a lot of good reasons, do not like working on the telephone. First of all, it's not face-to-face. -face. You don't actually get to see the person you're talking to. Secondly, you know, you get no feedback from the person. You feel like you are invading them by not, you know, actually seeing them or having an appointment set. A lot of people hate working on the telephone. And if you're one of them, I'll give you a little clue. You want a little test? Want to see where your head's at in this business? When you get back to your office tomorrow or the next day, sit down, look at your desk, 
and ask yourself a very fundamental question. How have I laid this desk out? Where's my telephone? A lot of you don't like working on the phone, so you have unconsciously arranged your desk in the following way. Right in the middle, there's some big visual distraction. Usually it's one of those giant empty coffee cups or a soda glass, and around it is all kind of non-dollar producing stuff, maybe a newspaper, your laptop, pamphlets, stuff that maybe needs to be read, but not in the middle of phone calling hours. And where does a person who does not like making phone calls actually place the telephone? Well, check it out on your own desk. A lot of you have it up and off to the corner, pretty much as physically as far away as you could possibly get that thing. I was in someone's office a couple of years ago. He was a salesperson. Telephone rings, he reaches down, opens the bottom drawer and says, yeah, mm-hmm. Now, it sounds silly, but I mean, isn't this a lot of common sense? You don't like making calls to begin with, but you want to sit down and generate some of these appointments and contacts, so you drag yourself in there. You sit down to make calls, and you look down at your desk. What catches your eye first? Because it's right in the middle. The empty coffee cup or a soda glass, you know? And then, so you pick it up, you go to the coffee machine. Who's standing around the coffee machine? A bunch of other AEs who don't like making phone calls, right? And you all sit there and say, what a terrible market it is, you know? I mean, you sit there and waste a whole bunch of time a lot of you, my favorite, by the way, is when you go in there and you see five or six of them standing around a coffee pot watching the pot fill. That's always my favorite. There's a good 10 or 15 minutes dead. Then they go back and they sit down and they pick up the telephone and they start, you know, reach the, for the phone. What catches their eye this time? You know, the newspaper. They'll pick up the Wall Street Journal and see how bad business really is, you know, before they get themselves all pumped up and inspired. It's an exaggeration, but isn't it true? Now a lot of people do. They'll find all kinds of creative ways of avoiding what they don't want to do. Make yourself a CD over and over again in the background. I enjoy working on the phone. I make at least 10 prospecting calls every day. When I sit down at my desk, the first thing I see is the telephone. I enjoy connecting with people over the phone. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but if you just had that playing in the background for a few minutes each day, just drilling that message subconsciously into the back of your brain, when you sit down at your desk, you're going to start noticing the telephone instead of all those visual distractions. It's so simple. It only takes maybe 10 or 15 minutes to make one of these CDs, and it can really push your income up dramatically.